The first thing I want to mention is just the projector. Just the projector alone has transformed my classroom. Currently, a majority of the teachers are using either an overhead or a whiteboard. And it's, it's interesting to see this transformation from me going from an overhead to the projector. It is just like going from a black and white TV to a color TV. And it's amazing to see these students' eyes light up when they can see the content very clearly, in a crisp manner, and in a way in which they're used to viewing content via a computer screen. And so this is where the tablet PC really comes in handy, where I can actually interact with the screen by drawing on it anywhere I want. It really becomes much more interactive. Now in addition, what's transformed me as a teacher is that there is no front, there is no back of the classroom. I can be anywhere in my room and interact with the screen at any time. And it's such a great way for me to say, Dr. Gerard, why don't you interact with the screen and talk a little bit about you know, what you know about the content. And you know, this is just a, a simple PowerPoint pr uh, presentation. I use other software to, to implement these sort of thing. Uh, let me show you just some of the things that I've done. Here's an animation that's here. Uh, I pulled this off McGraw's website. And so now I'm using the projector. I'm using the tablet PC, and I'm using a flash animation to show a very complicated process called protein synthesis. You're trying to relate to the kids that this tRNA is moving in to the mRNA in the ribosome and to drop off an amino acid, which is then going to build on itself to make a protein. Yeah, well, what better way to, to see that mm. than to actually see something moving onto the screen? Now, because this is in PowerPoint, I also have the ability to write right beside it and write anything I want for content. And I can save these notes and post them to, to, the, to the internet as well for them to be able to review. Uh, it's also about <clears throat> individualizing the learning. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I'm referring to is actually creating individual movies for the students to be able to view on their own time. Uh, first, what I, one way in which I used it <clears throat> is the night before a test, I just simply sat down on my computer and within 10 minutes from start to finish wrote down information through that journal ac uh, ac application that I showed you and then recorded it using Camtasia. It's individualizing it for them, speeding it up, slowing it down, whatever it might be. Now another use, I was talking with a resource teacher, and another great use for something like this, and again, I'm the only one in the high school that's doing this. I'm probably the only one in the public schools that's doing this. Uh, the other great use is for a resource teacher they can pull it down and review that content right in the resource room, right on the computer, fast forward, slow down, pause, whatever it might be. And it doesn't even have to be my student. It could be some other student that's reviewing a similar content for their class. Uh, I've also <clears throat> did something real clever. I consider it pretty clever <laughs> to just add uh, music to the video itself. I did that for biology. And one of my students actually added it to their video iPod, talking about making a connection with a student it was just absolutely amazing. And I'll pass this around and uh, play it. And if you want to stick it in your ear, that's by, by all means, go ahead. Uh, and then for them to be able to put it on their video iPods, coming to, on the bus to school or in the hallways, and be able to review content right there in a way that they're familiar with, I like the idea. <laughs> it's a great way. It's a great way to individualize the learning. It's not just these tools that, that have kind of presented to you, the software and the tablet PC and a projector. But it's also other pieces, like digital pictures. I can't tell you how important it is to have that, especially in the science, uh, the science realm. Last year, we had Palm Pilots. We used these Palm Pilots, which have cameras on them. And we used these. We took them to the Detroit Zoo. And the students were asked to look at the biomes for the different organisms and see how it's related to, to the organisms there, see how the biomes, that the artificial biomes are there, and how it's related to a real biome. And so they were asked to take pictures. And, and record content on this. They didn't have to take a pencil and a paper and try and write on somebody's back. They just simply had to take the picture. And they loved it. They absolutely loved it. And that was from last year. I would just really suggest that you know, we, we, we pursue this technology bond, uh, that, that we look at all the different aspects of it and, and really help enhance our students' education.